Gentleman from Bucks County, Mr. Petrie. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you, members. You know, until this morning, I could tell you I probably have never met an Olympic medalist before. But I also can tell you, as many of you have, I dreamed myself of being an Olympic medalist. Now, unfortunately for me, it would have been basketball. And by the time I was a junior in high school, I realized that might not be occurring. By the time they selected the dream team, I knew for certain that was not going to happen. But just think of how many of us have dreamed our lives of being on the, on the podium, receiving an Olympic medal in any event, and representing your country. Well, let me tell you, Jamie has a real Olympic medal. It's big, it's heavy, and just like the Russians, you know, I think they're sending us a message. What an extreme achievement that only a few individuals ever get to experience. Fewer people get to do it while hurling 80 miles an hour down an icy fiberglass sled combating significant G-forces with no seat, no seat belt, and no other protective devices. Jamie Grubel is one of those individuals, and let me tell you, she comes from a family where they are gritty and tough. I know this because I have personally worked cleanup days at Washington Historic Park next to her entire family, and it's this grittiness that enabled her to become the 2014 Sochi winner medalist. Uh, for those that are going to be introduced for track and field and want to exchange their medals even up for that Olympic medal, um, let me tell you, you have a possible future as a bobsledder because Jamie, a Cornell University HEPA athlete, which is a seven event uh, track and field event, that's how she got into the sport of bobsledding. And she was encouraged by a former teammate from Lake Placid to try a drive. Her first run felt much like a car accident, according to Jamie. She thought it might be her last. However, after she headed home and thought about the experience, she thought, what else would you want to do but be a brakeman and fly down that track? Uh, Jamie joined the bobsled team in 2008. And after co completing a master's degree in elementary education at Lesley University, she began training full time. Her competitive spirit and dedication led her to selection as an alternate brakeman for 2010 in Vancouver, a mere three years after her first trip down a bobsled. Shortly thereafter, after the 2010 games, she had her sights on that 2014 event. She was chosen for an elite development program and made the transition from brakeman to the driver's seat. Despite the challenge of competing against drivers with decades of experience and overcoming a torn ACL, Jamie's tenacious pursuit pushed her to work harder. Her diligence rewarded her on February 19th when Jamie guided her sled across the finish line to obtain that bronze medal, only seconds behind first. I'm extremely honored to be here to recognize Jamie, and I think we all can only imagine in our hearts how thrilled she was as they placed that Olympic medal over her head and played the national anthem. Join me, please, in uh, congratulating Jamie on her many successes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.